welcome us to this Sabbath day in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray the Lord will touch our lives today in Jesus' name. The lesson written this morning is taken from Philippians chapter 2, verses 1 to 11. Philippians chapter 2, verses 1 to 11. Mokewa kwa jolo ati ni loru kwa jesu. Olonu ala iyo fo oto aye wa. Eje ki akbe bele wa jeke asisi we Filipi yori keji. La ti ese keni titi de ese kokan la. Filipi yori keji ese keni de e kokan la. Ni tori na. Bi tu no kan ba wa. Ni no kristi. Bi si kwe kan basi wa. Bi da kwa ti e mi kan ba wa. Bi yonu anu ati isi mba wa. E mwa yon mi kun. Ki a yin ki o le je o ni no kan nan. Ki yi man yin ki o so kan. Ki e si ni o kan kan. E se ke ta vas tri. E ma se fi i jata bi o gwa san si un kon. So ban ni re le o kan. Ki o luku luku ro a mwen e lo meran si e ni ti o san ju o mfun ra re lo. Ki o luku luku nyi ki o ma se won ti re. So kmo luku luku won ti e lo meran. E ni e ro yi ni nan yi. E yi ti o ti wakwe lu ni nan Christi Jesu. E ni. E ni ti o ti le je a wun ron lon. Si ko ka si i wora. La ti bo lon on dog ba. So kmo bo go re si le. O si mo a wun ron se. O si se. A si se ni a wun ren ni yon. Ni kba ti a si ti ri. Ni i ri e ni yon. O re a la re si le. O si ten ri ba. Si si di o ju i ku. A ni ku o ri a gbe le bu. Ni to ri nan. O lò ron kwe lu si ti gbe e ga gidi gidi. O si ti fi o ru kon kan fon. Si o bo ri bo bo ru kon. Gbe. Ni o ru kon jesu. Ni ki bo bo e kon ki o ma kon le. A wè ni ti mbe ni o ron. A ti a wè ni ti mbe ni i le. A ti a wè ni ti mbe ni sa le i le. The last verse. E se to gbe nye. A ti gbe ki bo bo a han. Ki o ma jè wak pe. Jesu Christi ni o lu a. Kun o go a lò ron baba. Ba yini a ka ti a dan dro ke a lò ron a la yipu kon a lò re. Si gba lò kan.
Let us go on our knees. Let everyone go on their knees. The king that gave us the grace to witness a new month. Thanks is worthy of thanks, is worthy of praise. And therefore, I want you to call the name of Jesus three times. And thank God for his kindness towards you the last month. For how we receive all the glory over your life. I want you to think deeply so that you can be thankful. For as many that will not be able to think deeply this morning, they will not be able to thank God. What made you to uh, skate through the Wahala past month, the troubles, the, the torment, and the storm there in. That means you have received mercy. And if indeed you realize that you have received mercy, you need not be told that you have to thank God. I told us that the month of July is a very tough month. But the Lord saw us through. You church has to thank God for what the Lord has done. Call the name of Jesus three times. Prayer of thanksgiving. Father, we thank you. Father, I magnify you. Father, I glorify you. For the victory of the past month, it's indeed a powerful work that you did in our lives. We thank you for how you conquered the terrible Baba battles. Baba. We thank you for how you fought our battles. Baba. We thank you for how you, you laid your hand on us. In the different storms in the past months, you never allowed us to have a, pl a place Baba. in our lives. Baba. Every plan of the enemy comes in the month of July, you render to naught. Father, we magnify, we give thanks and glory Baba. to you. July. Thank you for the powerful work you did in the month of July. We thank you for the mercy we receive in the month of July. And Father, I thank you for the great grace you gave to us in the month of July. It is those that are affected that know. I give thanks to you. I give glory to you. I give praise to you. For this great grace, Father, I honor you. Go ahead and thank him. Everyone must uh, uh, show oh, their gratitude to God July. for what the Lord did in the month of July. Hey, the last month. Oh, thank you, Jesus. She Jesus. Thank you, 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 Jesus. The beginning and the end, I worship you. I give you praise. I honor you for what you have done. Give him praise. Give him praise. Now begin to thank God for what you will do this new month. Today is the first day in the new month. Now thank God for what the Father will do this month. How we receive all the glory. And for how we break every day. And we will lose every boundary. For you will have mercy on us this month. Let us begin to thank him. Thank you, Father. Baba. For what you will do for us in this month. And how we receive all the glory this month, we thank you. I give honor, I give praise to you.
Yes, Oluwa. Jesus our Lord. Keep up with your cocoa. It's okay. Let, Let the old church raise their hand to the thank the Lord. Okay. Let us put up our hands as we thank the Lord. All the glory must be to the Lord. Oh, he is worthy of our praise. No man of heaven to give glory to himself. All the glory must be to the Lord. To the Lord, all the glory must be to the Lord. Open up your mind as you sing the song. All the glory must be to the Lord. Can you buy a lot of We give you praise, Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Everlasting, everlasting, I will praise you, 
Give him praise, my worship we will worship. We want to him. Oh, we need my dupe, my dupe, my dupe. Everyone of every your love we feel, for him for God. Give him honor, give him glory, give him praise. Baba, Baru, Baru, Chijo. The great Father, the ancient of days. Send to to Allah, no one. There's no one as great as our God. Oh, Iye, Iye, Ogo, Iye. He's worthy of praise. He's worthy of glory. Allah, Iye, Ni, Shayu, Iye. He's worthy of honor at this minute. Oh, Obato, Obato, I feel like the power just in La Roye. He that's right here to. Give praise to the Holy Trinity. Thank you, Father. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Taloto, praise as great as you are. Taloto, O God, praise as you are. O Bato, my name, my joy, my love. The King that knows the need of a child, Father, I return all the glory unto you. I return all the glory unto you. Blessed be thy name. Let's say it again. Oh, chito bito luwa, allorong bobo hay. Oh, chito bito bobo hay. Kolega bobo arun, kolega luwa. Oh, chito bito, oh chito bito. Your kindness towards us last month. We realize that it is not by power of might. But you just had mercy on us. Uh, for the fact that we received mercy last month. Both the young and the adults, the male and the female. Father, we thank Baba you. Michelle. Father, we thank we you. That you have yet to Jesus, Baba, Father, in Jesus' name, ask. Baba, Father, in Jesus' name, accept our praise. Father, in Jesus name, our praise. But what you do this new month? But all the programs that Baba, we Baba, I thank you because Baba, you Father, I thank you because Baba, you Father, in Jesus' name, accept our praise. That the blessing of us is greater than the past month. The anointing of this month is greater than the past month. Therefore, Father, I thank you. Lord, accept our thanks. Our thanks are appreciated if you accept our thanks. We praise you and worship you. Father, in every area that we are brought to you, Jesus, Lord, forgive us. 
Father, we plead for the sake of the blood of Jesus. In every area that we have seen, in our utterances, in our thoughts, in our behaviors, and deeds, that the enemy wants to do that. The message of this morning, I destroy with the blood of Jesus. The message I spoke in the blood of Jesus. Remind us to the blood of Jesus. Lord, be our righteous shepherd. Use this word to the powerful ones. Let it not go in vain. Glory be to your name. Father, I thank you for your answer. Jesus, our Lord. We worship His Majesty three times. Just as the host of heaven, the twenty-four elders in worship of the Lord. Do you know what they are doing? They worship the Lord. They worship the Lord. They will place their golden crown. But but as lovely as the crown is, they will take it off and place it aside. And worship the one as of old. You worship the ancient of days. And that's what we are about to do. Oh, KBC. And it's what we learned this. We want to be with you even till this moment. What did they do right? Now let us stand. Then we will say Hallelujah. Make the show go go. So we will shout seven Hallelujah to the Most High. The King that had been compassionate to us and has given us the grace to witness this day. One, two, three. Hallelujah. 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 Eyin Baba logo. Eyin Baba logo. Glorify the Father. Eyin Baba logo. Glorify the Father. Oh ya fun late iko wa joko. Give him a clap of praise and be seated. Ite ka joko loruko Oluwa. Be seated in the name of the Lord. Ah do pe lowo Baba. We give thanks to the Father. Pe o fi anuka wa ye lati ri osu to dara ye. He has counted us worthy by his mercy to witness this lovely month. O de gba dua pe ninu osu ye. And I pray that this month Every one of us here will succeed in Jesus' name. The promise of God for the month of August will come to fulfillment in our lives. The name of the Father, the name of the Son, the name of the Holy Ghost. I say happy Sunday to us. And in Jesus' diaries, He will give us yet another grace. Amen. Amen. Now, before we go and pray, I want to speak to us this morning on the spirit of humility. The spirit of humility. I know it's what we have heard before. But the word of God is new every day. There's definitely definite what the Lord intends to do with it. That is why you are about to hear it. When a message goes forth, the Lord will send it to some set of people. He can even send it to the shepherd. Because the Lord is speaking through him, through that message. I want us to be attentive to the message. So whichever one that uh, affects you, who don't you succeed this month in Jesus' name. Now, a spirit of humility. 
it is what the Lord uh, loves. The Lord indeed loves anyone that has a spirit of humility. Now, there are so many things that we are supposed to have in life that people are not aware of. The exact day that you are sensitive to it and you can remain in it, then your life will definitely be transformed. It might well be that the only thing remaining for someone here this morning is a spirit of humility. good. He might be good in every other area. But in the area of humility, he has um, now, not measured to, up. But the moment he is able to change, the father will then begin to move anew with him. So humility is all about surrendering all to the most high. When you say somebody is humble, everything for God. Such a person is able to surrender all that he has to the most high. There's no such thing in life that he would uh, not want to offer to God. Because he really humbled himself before God. So, and the thing conle, and tondo ballet every time. Go dara, Latin, my sick, we got to darane, a corny. So, in general, we, a young little ballet, key no recommend ballet. Ah, I usually tell us that someone can prostrate or kneel down. It is good to do this, but do you realize that someone can prostrate and kneel down, but within, he is not doing that? A young little conle for every day, so my key no equosecane. But he is, someone might kneel to you every day, but right inside him, he is, has not kneeled to you. I now realize that the spirit of humility comes from above. It's a grace when it is released to you. Go with me to the book of James, chapter 4, verse 7. Rick Henry, SKG. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Says, 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 therefore, humble yourself to the oh. Lord Most High. If every one of us here can only humble ourselves to God, that is then it is easy for that It will then be easy for you to humble yourself in the presence of man. By the time you are able to humble yourself to the Most High. But so many people today, despite the uh, the Mercy that the Lord has shown to them, they are not humble. Because uh, humility is all about submission. So if humility is out of a, a man's life, then that life will not be okay. As as the spirit of humility today, the Lord will restore it back. If I have said that you would be a billionaire, you would have uh, jumped on your feet. But what will make you to succeed on time is what you are hearing this morning. If you have lost the spirit of humility, uh, maybe you have lost the spirit of uh, submission. The Lord will restore it back to you in Jesus' name. Every one of us, this concerns us. So when John heard the message from the Revelation, an angel, Revelation 22, verse 8, Revelation 22, 8, when you get to him, you can read it up. He was so afraid when the angel declared uh, said powerful things to him. Well, immediately what was the intention towards the angel? He wanted to prostrate to the angel. He wanted to bow to the angel. What was the response no. of the angel? No. Mm -mm. Mistake. Say, no, do not do that that because you only worship the Lord. I am just a servant like you. Do not worship me, he said. You need to only bow to the person that has given me the message to deliver to you. 
Uh-uh. Uh, because most of the time I imagine some people they will, if people are not prostrating or kneeling down to them they will not be happy so maybe you have been showed kindness to somebody but the person has failed to thank you whether he has come to, to thank you or not eh. the glory is unto the Lord I gave him 10,000 last okay. week and mm. two weeks ago I also gave him 10,000. Because he is ungrateful, he will not get any other one. Who has given you the power to give 20,000 to someone? Do you have any power on the your own? Be your one, like if only you need twenty thousand. The Lord only used you to give someone so, else twenty thousand. The Lord about God, they were saying, "Lord, I don't believe you." Remember the delay, right? And the day you stop doing it, the Lord can raise up six people so, uh, to do it. Oh, sin can tear your own from by by what? I want you to know. Lord, also raise the people to be for Lord. Oh, God, we need to be for Lord. There's nothing that is not easy for our Father, but uh, things that things might be impossible with man, but with God, but, all are, things are possible. I want us to learn this morning how to uh, humble yourself before the Lord. In your home, humble yourself to the Lord. In your place of work, humble yourself before the Lord. Wherever you find yourself, learn to humble yourself to the Lord. Someone that hates. Only Daffidi. Someone that hates. The Lord Guji. Be only what he lega. Bi Oluwa ti gato ni. Sibe ojuba awon ni rele. Ojuba awon ni rele. Sugba awon agberaga ni o mo ni okerere. Hallelujah. Amen. Eja gbori soke. Let us look up everybody. Ejo, ta lo mo bolon se gato ko na wa soke. Who here knows how great the Lord is? Put up your hands. Ta lo wa nbi to mo pe so, who here can explain how great the Lord is? Put up your hand. Nobody knows how great the Lord is. You only serve him, but you do not know his greatness. The Holy Scripture says, Though the Lord be high, Yet, he had respect unto the lowly. For you to know that definitely there is a lot in uh, things in humility. Because right in that humility, there is power. If you are seeking for power, learn to humble yourself. If you, if you want to be strong in the spirit, if you want to get certain things from Jehovah, this message, I want you to take it uh, seriously. And then go and pray that, Lord, grant me the spirit of humility. For you to get to that point that the Lord wants you to get to in life. For the Lord knoweth the proud and far off. The meaning is just that the Lord does not reckon with the proud. But the Lord had respect unto the Lord. First Peter chapter 3, verse 8. First Peter chapter 3, verse 8. Yes. Uh, you the spirit of humility in you. Message you don't boy. Oje message you don't agbara. This message you're hearing is a powerful message. Oje boy, it's your effect. Hey, I'm going to go. Oh, you make me talk back. Go talk back. Bad boy. Are you ready? Are you bad? And and the devil will usually not want people to pay attention to it. He knows by the time you pay attention to it, your life will definitely be transformed. Psalm one thirteen, verse five. Psalm one thirteen, verse five. Five to six. Psalm one thirteen. Any. Any yore, yes, feel you really home. Uh huh. I see winning. In Moyen, you might feel loud, no sherry. Someone that impasse. Tanya, I be a little alone. 
He humbled himself to behold the things on in heaven and on earth. The Father humbled himself. If the Most High can humble himself ah. to behold the things in heaven and on earth, gato, gato. as great as he is, you definitely need to humble yourself. Every one of us here today, we should learn to humble ourselves. Wherever you get to, humble yourself. Hey. Be it in your uh, workplace or and even if you are the boss, learn to humble yourself. Now, go Go with me to the book of Philippians where we had read for our lesson reading. Because I said that the Philipp um, humility is all about submission. Let us see the lesson be learned from Jesus. Chapter 2, verse 5. If anyone has such grace, he will want to boost to his master. Hey, Baba, see this is a father to son. He's going to the way, oh, to the way, oh, what's your lorum, the cacanan. Not because of the position that he occupied, then he now wants to say that he is uh, equal with God. I want us to think about it. What you have just read, I want you to read it up when you get back. That's what you should he made himself of no reputation that is all about humility that is all about submission that is why when a woman is about to get married she has to uh, make herself of no reputation whatever enters Whoever it is you are married to, you have to make yourself of no reputation. The only thing, the, the meaning is that you have to uh, humble yourself when you get to your own uh, matrimonial home. And, and that is what will uh, make you to be uplifted. People might say you are not wise, but you are the wisest one. That's what you the Holy Scripture says he humbled himself. Hey, when he came to this world, he humbled himself completely. Please, I want you also to learn to pray concerning humility. Even if you claim to have a spirit of humility, you have not had it enough. Keep asking. Uh, because I consider it from the book of Genesis to Revelation, there is no such person that has humility just like Jesus. I have not seen anyone that came to this earth born of a woman that had the uh, humility that Jesus had. His birth is all about humility. The greatest one was born in the manger. Humility. His ministry is also about humility. When he died on the cross, it also symbolized humility. Uh, if you study devotion, he rode on the house into Jerusalem. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, kings in the olden days, what do they ride on? It, it's on a horse. The horse will be well decorated. And the king of kings 
when it was time for the time for his glory to go to Jerusalem. Uh, go and study the scripture very well. It wasn't every time that Jesus rode on the earth. If the heaven has not said something, Jesus wouldn't have done it. Hallelujah. Amen. The word command that the Lord gave is that you should ride on a haste. And this, that was the time for him to ride on a haste into Jerusalem. And before that and after that, if you have seen any other place where Jesus rode on the earth, let me know. That was the time that the glory was about to be made manifest. He rode on the earth into Jerusalem in humility. All that he did was in humility. Now, if you take a was obedient unto death. What we make some people to curse or insult people. The Holy Scripture says he was obedient unto death. I pray that we will be uh, have a better understanding of this message. That, that the Lord will make us sensitive to do the things that we call humility. So when humility comes, you will be able to humble yourself till the solution comes. Oh, I need your you will not uh, pride in yourself. You will always be patient with the Father in all that you do. People often pray the prayer that the Lord that uh, uplift this person, uh, that person that you are making reference to, how do you, how does he present himself before God? Oluwa, boss is all like Bajadi, Oluwo, boss is best okay, Oluwa, baby, now it's okay, so man, don't lack or yeah. So, so you also pray that Lord, as you have raised this person and you have made him rich, also raise me up and make me rich. Do you know oh, what is passing through? No one can receive a thing from above except he has paid the price. There's nothing that you can get from above except you pay a price. The Holy Scripture says he was obedient unto death. Now, and when the Father now uh, saw this from above, yes, now, God now exalted him. Whoever that you see that has been exalted, you should know that the spirit of humility is so great in his life. As much as he was humble, so he was also exalted. So, so if you have been doing something, you have to continue to improve on it until you get to the peak. The Lord will help you. Verse 9. Yes. 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 That is why we call the name of Jesus anytime oh, we pray. There is nowhere that we hear the name of Jesus in the firmament. Even if they, when they hear the name of Jesus in the depth of the ground, they will bow. And when we are about to pray, those battles that want to rise against us and we call the name of Jesus, they will flee. 
Gidi Gidi ni. Because it's a name that has already been exalted greatly. Ah, the degbe ga Gidi Gidi o kilari noe irele. And it wasn't just it wasn't just exalted greatly. What has been found in him? Humility. Ori o felati fi wa joje su ulo ayo fi fwa. The grace to be like Jesus, the Lord will grant unto us. So I want to come out to you for God Alma. So ba fe deni bega. There are certain things you need to know if you want to be uplifted. So ba deni ma o kari. And by the time you know them, easily will be uplifted. Matthew 20. You will Matthew 25 to 28. Sugbon Jesu pe won sodo re. Aha. O si wi pe, eyin mo pe awon oba keferi a ma lu agbara lori won. Awon oba keferi nkan ton won se ni yen o. Yes. Ati awon eni la ninu won a ma fi ola teri won oba. Won ma fi ola teri eyan ba nti won ni yes. Sugbon ki yo ri be laarin yin. Iwo o gbodo fo la teri eyan kan ba. Sugbon eni kan ti o ba fe, ti o ba fe, ti o ba fe po ninu yin. O ti ti to eni suru na. Hallelujah. Bo Olorun ba gbe odi ku ola to wa fi ola re tere eyan ba wa gba query lorun if you the lord has placed you in a higher position and because of that position you occupy ben. you want to lord it over people you will be queried in heaven ola to nwo yen olorun lo ni ola the honor that we see it is it is god that holds honor e po te nwo yen ta lo ni po oga ogo the position that you uh, we ha, may be so, it is god that holds it ba gbe ode ipo kan to wa to wa to wa fi ipo yen to fi tere awon eyan ba Baba la problem. And if Lord has taken you to a certain position and you now exercise authority because of that position, then you have a problem. And that is why it is so good for you to have uh, had the knowledge before the Lord takes you to the position that you may desire. That is why you discover that so many people that are given that honor, they, they cannot last because they have ruined it with pride. They got, they got there truly, but when they eventually got there, what did they do? They subdue people with that position of authority. If you want to be great, in the family that you came from, if you want to be great, in the business, don't say. In that business that you do, yes. And anyone that will be great will have to minister to others. That is what. Ati ani kani to ba fe she olori ni nuni. E to ba ye olori ni nuni to ba ti fe she olori yes. Ye ki o ma she o mo do yin. Ko she o mo do bi to no seri ni ye. That is that is how it is in heaven. Opposite in it. It's uh, an opposite. Hallelujah. Amen. E to ba fe ye oga ki ni kasi ki ni Bible is opo e ko di o mo do. If you want to be a boss, you have to first be a servant. Nik ba ti Jesus de o jibo bo e kwada. When Jesus came, he changed it all. That everyone on earth, then just the same way the Jesus said to the Pharisees and the every other person, but it's just that they do not believe. The person that came from above knows heaven far better than the person on oh, earth. And he also knows what the Lord wants and what he does not want. In fact, oh yeah, one man you learn. When we define the all about a uh, position, the, MP, the disciples were amazed. In every way, he taught them a lesson about humility. I will just mention a few because of our time. You will join touching. You will join Oriketala. Okay. Yes. 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 Yes.
What did he do? He began to wash the feet of his disciples. Then to anyone that will be a leader has to wash the feet of the oh, uh, servants. Jesus was making a proverb with this. He's not saying that you should put the water in the basin also and wash the feet of people. It's a lesson about humility that he wanted to teach the disciples. Yes. Yes. But I am trying to train you at this time. You will later understand what I'm doing. So go your journey, Meaning that if you fail to allow me to wash your feet today, the, the meaning of that is that you are not my disciple. It was what the Father commanded Jesus to do right from above to, to his disciples that he was doing at that time. Whatever you see Jesus doing in the Holy Scripture, you should understand that the Father has commanded him to do it. Uh, there's no one that will have a child that will not want to train the child except you know you don't understand what it means to train the child if you have a child and you fail to train the child you know the lord will call so you later that's why, that's why most of the time i look at some parents when your child seems to be misbehaving why can't you correct them no matter how old they are, the Lord has given them to you. You have to train them. Hallelujah. Amen. So, the beloved at that time, the father gave them over to Jesus. One were for training. They all came for training. One day, go. And they were able to do a few do a thing called ye. I pray as the Lord is to, to, be to, be to, be to be obeyed, go into you in Jesus' name. That's what you. Can we look up? Does the Lord say, tell him to wash it? What was the instruction of the Father to Jesus? Only uh -huh. the feet. And what uh, Peter later said, mm -hmm. uh, the Jesus did not need to do the that. The reason why the Lord instructed him to wash the feet of his disciples. Because whoever will occupy the headship has to wash the feet. Hallelujah. Amen. The head has to wash the feet of others. Then that's why you realize that the head is above, the feet is beneath. Meaning that you should take care of those that the Lord has given to you. That's why. Jesus, we fun pe. Anything that we go to fair care as soon as necessary. Yes. So my own money be go go. Eka fifteen to left. Nitori mo ti fi apere fun yin oni mo ti fi apere fun yin ke yin ke o le ma se gege bi mo ti se si yin bi mo se se na ni ke ma se yes lo to lo to ni mo wi fun yin omo odo ko to bi ju oluwa re lo omo odo ki to bi ju oluwa re lo be ni eni ti aran ko to bi ju eni ti o ran lo aha bi eyin ba mo nkan won yi ti e ba mo nkan won yi la ro yi alabuko fun ni yin o ti pare if we have the understanding of uh, humility this morning, then we are blessed. Uh, right away, certain things will change in our lives. There are so many things that we do not know that makes us go through the challenges we have. Matthew 23, 6. 
Matthew chapter 26 Amen. love the most this time around? wherever they get to they want people to heal them they want people to heal and worship them the father says all that will amount to nothing in heaven do not uh, chase uh, the high but position. Alone, it is only God that can place you in that high position. Alone, if God has not placed you there, there's nothing you can do. And if some people have uh, been succeeded in taking you there, they will all eventually bring you but down. If it is what God has done that will last, what God has not done will surely never last. Matthew 18. Matthew 18 from verse 1. Yes. Yes. Who is the greatest in the, the kingdom of heaven? Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Yes. Jesus is the greatest in the Yes. Whoever that will not be like a, a little children. Because the heart of a children is so tender. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, when uh, children has a, a quarrel, so in their class, they will often time pinch yeah. themselves. Uh, one can take the pencil of another and break it. So the funny part is that after they have done this to themselves, they will do, uh, two minutes later, they will begin to talk to so one another. Yeah, one bar, one but if the mother <laughs> comes in and says, Who is that person that uh, beat you? <laughs> uh, the mother will not be able to say, Oh, that person is a teacher. Oh, that person is a teacher. Oh, that person is a teacher. Oh, but the children that had the uh, quarrel, they would have uh, settled their differences. And that was why the father asked them to bring one of the little children that anyone that cannot be like them cannot get to the kingdom so of heaven. It means that the spirit of humility, just like a ch a little children, must have a place in the life of the adults. So, when Jesus got to the, te uh, the temple, the little children were singing Hosanna. What was it that the scribes did? They told Jesus that look at so, what the children are doing. Is this uh, is, is what what they are doing to you? Is it right? And immediately, what was the response of Jesus? He says, For it has been written in the Holy Scripture. For out of the mouth of the children will the praise be perfected. It's as if I have never read that place before. From the mouth of the little children and the suckling will the praise ah. of the Lord be perfected. There is a lot in the children that an adult needs to study. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, when study and go, you want to learn to go, to study and go. If a, a man can study animals and even go inside the bush and study them, why can't you study certain things and then allow your life to be transformed? And there was a time they wanted to chase the little children away. Jesus 
said, Do not chase them away. Let them come to me. For theirs is the kingdom of God. Jesus made a lot of uh, uh, outreach with, the, with the children because they have a spirit of humility. And when they eventually grow up, they can also change. And then while they are still young, they will continue to maintain their innocency because their brain has uh, not developed to that extent. Whoever uh, humble himself just like the children, look at the practical that Jesus gave them. That this child that I just called, if you can be like him and humble yourself, you will be the greatest in heaven. So Meaning that it's not the rich ones that will be great in heaven. It is not the honorable ones that it will be rich in heaven. Yaka, yaka, ye, ye. Hey, people who are rich in heaven. They are the people that you think they are great on earth and then you worship. If the Lord should show you their position in heaven, you will be so Tori disappointed. If the Lord should show you their position in heaven, you will be so disappointed. If the Lord should show you their position in heaven, you will be so Because most of them cannot humble themselves as the Lord expects. Eban Kadi Fast Five. Yes. And it's over six by two. I'm okay. Kere yiko. Yes, receive me. So that's why the Obani pastor to the pay we you see kere only the pay and don't let the head the church we are in between your work. Only my job my twenty years. Look who is the pay fifty years. That's why if you have a pastor in the church where you worship and he might still just be twenty years old, but he was going to be a pastor in charge of the church and you are about fifty years. Okay, uh, we and you, and you now begin to say that this boy that I'm old enough to uh, that I'm old enough to be the father is speaking to me like that. You just have to be quiet. Hallelujah. Amen. Your child can be a pastor. The Lord can make your child an evangelist. Do not say because you see him daily then you do, don't want to respect the anointing on, his, on him. No one says you kneel or prostrate to that uh, your child but you have to respect the anointing on him. Uh, what I'm talking about this Money, it's always difficult to respect such person if you are so close to them. Because you sleep and you wake together. If not for those that are filled with the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Amen. I pray that the Spirit of humility the Lord will grant unto us. I want to quickly mention some things before we close. Hear this. Any marriage that is not uh, with submission, it cannot last. What to repeat it? I say again. Any marriage that will not have submission and humility, last. it will not last. Ezekiel 16, 38. Now shall judge you. Just as though the women in the house that has ruined their marriage. Let us look up. Whoever that is married, and head has been placed upon him or her. The husband is the head. Hallelujah. Amen. 
whatever iru eniyan bo se e ba ko ru o ke ba ga o un to wo je whoever the person is maybe the short tall whoever he is lojo ti won ti toro ka bo yin lowo the day that you are joined together in holy matrimony to so ni waju ijo olorun pe o ma tojo e o ma ge o ma se gugu e ni gba isan ni gbo ojo to so bo iwo lo fenu are so o wa so pe titi ku o fi and you made a declaration they, that you take care of him you uh not sure and uh, you care for her or him till death do you apart i want you to look up so that you can hear what i'm about to say you, the lord only commanded a husband and a wife nobody compelled you that you have to be married that's a secret i'm telling you no one has been compelled that you have to be married or you, to a man or you so married to a woman but the day that you eventually get married to someone and you have that head. You have to be very careful so that that um, holy matrimony will not be ruined through you. The man, the man has to be careful that this marriage or wedlock should not break through me. Because our king is a, a king that will be quiet to judge. Whoever that will break up the holy wedlock, the Lord said he will judge. Even the children in the house, they should not uh, break the wed now, holy wedlock. Perhaps you are doing something at the moment that is, will break up your uh, marriage. You have to stop it right now. Hey, Maybe you are doing something secretly that is about to cause a break up for your marriage. You have to stop it. Hallelujah. Amen. This is not courtship. Anything, let's say, no courtship. Well, anything can happen in courtship. Hallelujah. Amen. I want your man to hear. No courtship. People can uh, separate the courtship. The reason is just because there's yet to be a covenant that will bind them together. Hallelujah. Amen. They have not been joined together in the holy wedlock with the holy Bible. The marital life is so powerful. That you are married to someone, you have to be praying that Lord have mercy on me. Let this my, my wedlock not break up through me. Oh, let me to pass again. You know, the man sing down here and love by just a bye. Oh, come and say bye for me. A yeah, woman say bye for me. Oh, yeah, this will rule. So, that's why when some people complain that my husband or my wife has been So, that's why when some people complain that my husband or my wife has been doing this to me, but I tell them that if your husband has been doing this to you, you have to be patient. If it's your wife, you have to be patient. The Lord knows what you are going through and do not take any step that the Lord will not be pleased with. It is until the Lord speaks that you can take a step in your marriage. But if you choose to take that step on your own, it might be dangerous. Amen. At least in no counseling, I want I magnify the name of the Lord for the uh, families that would have been broken up, but the Lord has amended. The glory is unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Some women would have packed their things and say they are going to get the vehicle to take them away. So, and I say marriage. to them that where are you going? Do you know so, the meaning of what you so are about to do? Marriage, sir. Do you understand the meaning of marriage? Oh yeah, so follow up man, look quick. Die where quada. Then then tell the uh, driver to go. Some of them will, uh, will feel uncomfortable and say, Daddy, I know that's what you Amen. say. Amen. They 
These people that I'm talking about today, their home is settled. If they had been disobedient, they would have been guilty concerning that marriage. That's why you find out that most youths, they don't no longer last in their matrimony. Once a little thing comes up, they will want to take pack their things so they and pay, go. Because a lot of people do, does not seem to know the meaning of marriage. Hey. Marital life is quite deeper than the way we view. Do you not know that the Lord has set up a holy matrimony? And whatever the Lord has done, no one should ruin it. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I pray. Some, I some of you that are about to take a step to turn your marriage around, the Lord will amend it. Go with me to First Peter chapter three. Yes. We go to Rukini Oriketa. From verse one. Be gege. Yes. Enya ya. Emma tell you before I walk on you. Yes. We be any kind of battle and she I go no see or no. Ki a le jere won. Li a e soro ne kwa iwa anwa ya won. Yes. Ni kwa ti won ban wo iwa rele ti on ti e yin, ti on ti e ru yin. O sho e ni ti koma shi jyo sho de. O sho de. O lor ron ke te kwe koma dress da da. Outward adorning. It's not for you not to dress properly. O sho de nye o kolo kwa se ke ne o. I cherish a you or so in no love. So a lot of us cherish the outward uh, appearance more than the inward. That is what the Father is saying. That's what the is saying. That's what the Holy Spirit is saying. So that really you are yes. Tiro didi. Ati ti wura lilo. Tabi ti asho wiwa. Yes. Tuban ki oje ti anitio farasi li okon. Ni no oswa i diba je. Ni no oswa i diba. Oswa ka watan kwe ni oswa i diba je. There is uh, an outward appearance that is incorruptible. What is that outward adorning? Yes, that is incorruptible. Ekadada. Tie mirele. Tie mirele. Atie mitutu. Oswa i diba je. Tie mirele. The outward adorning that is uh, the spirit of quietness. Mo feko underline in the Bible. I want you to underline it in the. Bible. What is uh, referred to as the incorruptible adorning? That is a quiet spirit. That is what you need. By the time you have that quiet spirit, then congratulations to you. In your matrimonial home, you'll be able to humble yourself. So whoever you are by time in out there, by the time you are married, you'll be able to submit to your husband. That is what you at here, me too. At here, me too. A it is she be any way you alone. Yes. Ni sorry by in your mobile name, me mic banning pelu. Uh-huh. Ti won't back at your lorn. Ti won't back at your lorn. Fish here and one your show. In town one fish are one loss or day. This is, what they, they, this this is what, what they adorn themselves with. That is the spirit of humility. Which is most precious before God. That is what you should desire, not the outward appearance that will corrupt. Yes. Yes. Amen. As a weak vessel, the woman should be in subjection to the man. The man in his on his part should honor the wife. For some men, their wife amounts to nothing again. Hallelujah. Amen. There's no kind of meal the woman will prepare that the man will not complain. Hallelujah. Amen. Why is that? Because he has tasted several things out there. They, they have uh, cooked up so many things for them. 
All that the wife will do in the house, he will always complain. Do you not realize that the father will uh, query you later? That's a, a whole soul that you are about to lose. If the, person, if the person that you are married to uh, eventually develops hypertension, the father will query you why you allow that to happen. When was the last time you ate your wife's meal? And then you are praying. The Lord uplift me. And, and the person that is right in your home, uh -uh. you make her to be sorrowful and you want the Lord to uplift you. The men that are wise, they will honor their wives. There's a secret therein. For you to honor the woman in the house, oh God, it's indeed a great grace. But where we read, the Bible said something almost at the tail end. Quickly read it up for me. Oh yeah. That's nine. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Seven, seven. Okay. Okay, I think we of What is that thing that hinders our prayer? In about ten four years ago. What you ought to have heard about four years ago. Uh, and you are praying that Lord conquer the uh, family enemy. It's it's not the family enemy. I'm not saying there are no enemies in the family. They so are. But this one we are talking about, you are your own enemy. The Holy Scripture says that the prayer will not be hindered. Your failure to honor your wife, why would your how would your prayer not be hindered? Whenever she comes around, she's just like done to you. If she greets you, you just answer grudgingly. Hallelujah. Amen. If she says anything, you just slap her. Are you beating a drum? He also that the Lord cherish in heaven. If you study the scripture, you will not disobey uh -uh. the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. The Holy Scripture says, Who will have a hundred sheep and lose one, I will not go out looking for it. For you to know that the whole soul in heaven matters. To God. It's, it's just because of the soul of man that Jesus came to this world, not because of the material things on earth. And the various uh, uh, lives that surround you, you uh, punish them and you expect God to be happy with you. There is a day of uh, reckoning. Hallelujah. Amen. There's a day of reckoning. If I want to do anything, I will always be mindful of the real reckoning. So that, so that I can do it very well. Hallelujah. Amen. For you that you know you have a husband or wife, don't you, don't you know that there's a, going to be a day of reckoning? That do you not know that you leave this place sometime? And by the time you are out, you are going to give account. There are all that you do, there is none that will go in vain. We usually say that those things that you do, they have done uh, as a, as a uh, reference, not in vain. Take care of your wife and then see what will happen. Hallelujah. Amen. If she is looking so old, you have the one that made that yes. to happen. 
Uh, the men are the ones that have made the women to be looking so old. And the person that has been living with you for eh? over 20 years and you have now complained that she is working so, in a way that is not good. Is it not, is it not the eh? extent to which you have uh, used her? She eh? eh, eh, said, Look at eh? how she raised her hand. Eh, one, lost what you, you are the one that made her eh? too. Oh, I more, don't go. And ah. you want to leave <laughs> the old woman going <laughs> out oh, for the new woman? What you are about to do. We will regret. Baba, the father can see you as you are running. Only you are worried or be. His eyes is not watching oh, you. There's nothing secret that the Lord is not aware of. You can hide it from man, but from God, you cannot. It's better you perform your own duty so that the Lord can compensate you. Amen. The Lord can give you 12 children. Yes, Baba Le Four. Yes. The, the Father can give you. If the Lord realizes that you can take care of the 12 children very well, He will give them to you. And the Lord gave you a child or three children, and you cannot Alleluia. take care of them. Amen. The one that the Lord has given to you, are you able to take care of them? No wonder some of those uh, children are now promiscuous because what you, the fathers are supposed to do, you don't do. You are only drinking about with them. The money that the most high has given to you, you go about drinking with it. And you expect that God will be pleased with you. And then you have observed with you and there is no result. The best thing is so, 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 the prophet eh? will command that we go to they go to the mountain rather than explaining mm -hmm. to them that these are the areas where you are missing it. Oh, but because they have been giving them bomb vita, they so will not want to say the say truth. Say Tell them what they are doing wrong so that their life can be transformed. This is not about the marathon fast, it's a certain mistake that so, so many people are making that are discussing a problem. The father can, can see. Is the secret will reward in the open. Hallelujah. Amen. Any sorrow. Be patient. Whether he is good or, or not. Let the father compensate you and not man. Hallelujah. Amen. Any coffee, Baba Lawo. Someone was married to her. I do not know if I've shared the story before. And she cannot really explain how she eventually got married to an abalis. But, but anytime she wants to go to church, the herbalist will say, These are some of the herbs I want you to pound it for me. I, you cannot go to church yet, pound yam for me. Also. And after, after the whole day is all uh, gone, uh, gone for, the, uh, for the service, they will now release her. Then the woman was able to humble herself for a whole 12 years. At the end of the twelfth year, then the Lord visited the husband, and the husband surrendered his life to Jesus. The man now believed God far better than the wife. Evangelist. And the Lord made the husband an evangelist. And anytime he, he preaches, he but preaches. A, 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 the topic is always about the wife. That this is what my wife did. This is what she did. Because it is all about patience that you can inherit the glory. When you are so patient, there are so many things that. Uh, we will come to See, you. Lord, we have an adage that the Lord is always behind the so, patient one. If you can learn to do this, the miracle will happen. 
The youth, what is the Lord saying? He says the youth should humble themselves to the adult. Uh, all these things I'm talking about is a reference from the Holy Spirit. When you get home, read up 1 Peter chapter 5 and 5. He talks about the youth that they should learn to humble themselves. A lot of the youth, they fail to humble themselves in the home. Look at the behavior of the youth out there. This time around. Because what God wants them to be, they are not. So also the Bible says that a servant should humble themselves to the master. Uh, that was that's what I was saying earlier that the servant can kneel or prostrate, but he might not. Do, be doing that the spirit of humility is from uh, inward not outwardly what? when Ega offended the master what was it that the Holy Spirit commanded her to do the angel told her to go back to Sarah that she should go and submit to her. Wow. And when you get back to your master, go and submit yourself to her, and then you oh, accommodate you again. Oh, and you have not been able to submit yourself to the boss, and you want to receive the blessing on the day of your freedom. And when, you, when he tells you to just go and bring this, those things, he's only saying that just to make you go on time and he'll just start be cursing you rather than blessing you. That's why some people that's why when you see people praying and they are not praying from within, if the prayer is just a waste. It's just those people that are prayed from within that the prayer can be answered. Do those things that will make the prayer to be answered upon up your life. Because whatever you sow is what you reap. So, number four, and then number four is that we must uh, submit to the ben, people in authority. Government, the government, we have to submit to them. Who was here on Tuesday? Pastor Essin say, he says, Pastor, you still do what you do. Is this what the, the government okay. says you observe that you are observing? He says, what is this uh, nose mask that your people are having? It's an uh, instruction. Uh, what we don't realize that that thing that you have failed to keep to the Lord, the devil will oh, use it against you. Last year, so, oh, they come back bad. Do I? Oh, they come back in Katanga. So, but when they come again, you can see this uh, distancing. That is what the government has said that they have not said we should not pray, but they said we should observe physical distancing. When they come out for what? I beg you. They said we should wash our hands. Until by then, be careful. So, uh, on the next thing, so I'm going to buy again. That's what I'm for what? Ah, which which one is not good in all the things that they have given as instruction? If well, after we eating, would you not wash your hands? If we get into more work for the leg, hello me, Papa, I'm a mechanic here. And we talk about it. I don't talk about what Malala. I don't use it no. And some <laughs> even the uh, motor mechanics, by the time they are done working on the car, what? they will still use that same that hand okay. to uh, eat. I mean, and when they caution them, they say there's no problem. Everything will be fine by the time it gets in there. But now you know how to wash your hands properly. When you go out, you wash your hands. But when you are in your home, you wash your hands. So that you not come in contact yes. with Jesus. Which one is not good in Hallelujah. all the instructions that they yes. have given? We have to honor the people in authority. And the ministers of God, they have you have to so submit to this. This was what the people did that made their life to be okay. When you hear the message like this, you have to humble yourself. Uh, most of the time, I imagine it when you, you, the message is going on, some people are Pre busy pressing their mobile phone. And some, that is when they will tap their friend and they will start their own hey. discussion. When the everlasting message hey. is going on, when, 
When it is a message from the Father and not a story. Because whoever will choose to respect the word of God, the Lord will surprise them. How do you take, um, handle the word of God? The Lord will help us. Let me stop here because of our time. I know the Lord will give us grace. So, at so time. If Jesus starts. And I know the one we have heard. The Lord will use it to give us. Let us stand to pray. Father. Grant me the spirit of complete humility. Our revival commence tomorrow. We will not have much time to pray today. But let us pray this prayer. Lord, grant me the spirit of total humility. Prayer. Emirele, pata pata. The spirit of complete humility, Father, grant unto me. The hearts of humility to serve you, Lord, grant unto me. Give me the heart of humility. Holy Spirit, give me the heart of humility. I want to begin to do your will. I want to begin to do your will. Help me to humble myself completely. There is upliftment in humility. There is great uplift. Only the wise will humble themselves. Yes. Only the wise will humble themselves. The spirit of complete humility, Lord, grant unto me. Jesus. Jesus our Lord put up your hands I pray for you this morning in every year that you have made mistakes over your marriage over your will the Lord pardon you Amen. put up your hands the grace of humility to succeed in life and for you not to remain in the same spot this grace flows into your life amen I pray at the prophetic calling today is a Sabbath day our life will receive peace amen I say by the calling and the authority. Only what Tim Belay and you are doing, Tim Olu. Don't leave it in the presence of God. I only hear the light. We have a testimony soonest, Stephen. The battle that rage against the father will not affect you. Amen. The battle that rage against your mother will not affect you. The battle that is raging against you at the moment. The grace of heaven and earth has stopped you. Amen. Oh, but it's okay. Put up your hand. Ask for a particular thing, one a specific thing. What you get your let it not be more than a single thing. And within a few days, you come back to testify. Take notes, take notes. So that while you're at it. We have half a minute left. Except you doubt this prayer. So what about the doubt? Put up your hand again. 
By the grace given to me this morning, that good thing that you have asked for here today, I do not know, but the Holy Spirit knows. The name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. It has worked out. Amen. By the time we witness view this, the door of joy shall be opened. Amen. Oh, let's suffer. We will not suffer. Amen. Look up, Baba. The name of the Father. Look up. The name of the Son. Look up, The name of the Holy Spirit. Oh, but I said no. I hear the color of Look up, Jesus. Go never part of what will never come back again. Oh, thank you, Father. Receive, Baba. Jesus, Holy Wawa. Jesus, our Lord. Oh, yeah, more friends. Okay, King Bad. Now raise your offering as I'll pray. I sanctify the name of the Father, Lord come. of the Son, Lord come. and of the Holy Spirit. Father, as your people are giving this, bless them. As they are dancing forward, surprise, him. surprise us. It is so already. Jesus, Jesus our Lord. Joyfully let us stand forward. Father, King of creation, He won the Kologoye. He won the He won the Kologoye. He won the Kologoye. You want the color go yeah. You want the color go yeah. You want the color go yeah. Oh, mighty Father, King of creation. You want the color go yeah. You want the color go yeah. You want the color go yeah. Baptismic or see your right care for one. We are for the baptism. You can go to your class. A dear cup by Dra. And a spring. Oru call Jesu. In Jesus' name. Near Barra, Jesu. The powerful name of Jesus. I be a rook of the direction and life. I suppose you for your fellow to be for a lot. Thank you for another great shame. You are not going to walk out there. Father, accept me more by this read and say, I shall not know a coral and you are going in your word. And me more than a more on this read. I told you what you look for. Amen. At this hour, Jesus name alone. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I are supposed to learn about the gospel of Jesus Christ last week. We are going to summarize it because there is no time. The gospel of Jesus Christ. From Romans chapter 1. S.K.J. From verse chapter 7, verse 7 to 17. And our memory verse is from the book of Rome, chapter 1, so verse 16. It says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God to salvation. For everyone who believes. Without taking much of our time. We know what the gospel of Jesus Christ is. Yes or no? We have been told here that Agbarani. it is power for everyone who believes. 
So in Rere Christi. This means whoever can with boldness speak the gospel of Christ. Oh, ni anko ni ani toti ba Christi ba. Is such that is referred as a believer of Christ. Agbara de wa ni nu oro lorun. There is power in the word of God. Oh, na chen sofun wa ni biba i. This is what we have been told here. In Rere Christi, je unti awo ni ba ba gudo mulo kunkundu. The gospel of Jesus Christ is what every believer must take seriously. Ni bibogo ta ba ti ba arawa. Everywhere we find ourselves. Agudo le masoro ni pa Christi olu bala. We must be able to talk about Jesus Christ alone. Our lifestyle as well must speak Christ. In everything we do, it is down to you preach. Our life as well must preach Christ. Amen. I pray the light of Christ will shine Christ. And everything we do, we preach Christ. Today we are talking about the God's, God's anger on unrighteous on unrighteousness of man God's anger on unrighteousness of man our text is from the book of Romans chapter 1 from verse 18 to 23 and read does Nitori afi bi nu Olorun han lati orun wa si gbogbo aiwa bi Olorun ati aisododo eniyan awon eni ti o fi aisododo te otito mole nitori ohun ti a le mo niti Olorun o fara han ninu won nitori Olorun ti fi han fun won nitori ohun re ohun re ti o fara sin lati igba dida aye ari won gbangba an fi oye ohun ti adamo ani agbara ati iwa Olorun re aye raye ki won ki o le wa li airiwi nitori igba ti won mo olorun won ko yin logo bi olorun be ni won ko si dupe sugbon ero okan won di asan asi mu okan omugo won sokunkun won pe ara won li ologbon won di asiwere won si pa ogo olorun ti ki idibaje da si aworan ere eniyan ti idibaje ati ti eye ati eranko elese merin ati ohun tin rako praise god hallelujah praise god hallelujah ti a ba ohun ta ka ni beyen je kaka ko sori wa o wa ninu iwe thessalonica keji in the book of second thessalonians ori keji thessalonians chapter 2 verse 12 ki a le se idajo gbogbo awon ti ko gba otito gbo that all may be condemned who do not believe in the truth sugbon ti won ni inu dudun si ninu ai se ododo but our pleasure in unrighteousness e je ka jo ka papo o ya o ki a le se idajo gbogbo awon ti ko gba otito gbo sugbon ti won ni inu dudun ninu ai se ododo ora so si waju introduction last set o koja last week we studied about the gospel of Jesus Christ. Today we want to see what usually makes the gospel of Christ precious. As we know, the intensity of darkness will make the light we make the light precious. All the world is in darkness. But whoever receives the gospel of Jesus will become the light. The sins Jesus that was mentioned in today's lesson. That this is the reason why he is angry against the world. Are these common sins among women? These things have made us wicked before God. And the Bible says, God is daily angry against the wicked. You can find that in Psalm 7, verse 11. Praise God. I would not want to take much of our time. More in the mid, the center of this lesson is in what our Father in the Lord also preached about this morning. Le, he spoke about humility. And we have all seen the benefits in humility. Ati, awan, e ninu, ke ni e and the dangers in not being humble. Ati, awan, ale, padanu, ti a se ye. And those things we can lose if we do not do accordingly. 
Praise the Lord. Amen. Oh no, Lord, my Lord, we thank you for the blessing. We thank you for the blessing. We thank you for the blessing. This also goes in line with what we have been told here. The God's anger on righteousness. When the spirit of humility is lost in one's life, oh, this is the time for the Lord to make a way. Different spirits will begin to manifest in such life. And these are the kind of spirits such as unrighteous spirits. For you to bow down to idols, or not being truthful, or you have pride, you are pompous, you honor money than God. Slants are not supposed to be found in Christians' mouths. On modest dressing that we see in today's world, these are the Causes of God's anger. And I pray God's anger will not come upon us. Whatever we will do that will make God angry against us, we will not do it. And if we are walking in that path, I pray in Jesus' name, Holy Spirit, to bring us back. Uh, Says God is angry against unbelievers. Who are the sinners? Sinners are those who do not do the will of God. Yes or no? Whoever does not do the will of God is called a sinner. Whoever transgresses the law of God is called a sinner. It might be someone that comes to church daily. In as much as there are still some blemish in your life. Sinner before God. And the Bible equally says all our righteousness is like a filthy rag. Our righteousness is like a filthy rag. Coming to church does not make you righteous. You have to examine your life daily. Am I still on the way? This is why before we pray, we ask for forgiveness of sin always. Because we know ourselves. May God help us in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Honey. If man cannot think deeply, if you are not thinking 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 deeply, God does not easily make judgment on men. When we look at this place, what does it tell us? It says sometimes when we examine it, we say, does God still judge men? Sometimes the things we see in this world and the way our leaders act, we ask ourselves if God still judge men. This is why some people will say God's judgment is far. I will revenge myself, but God's own can take time. But what we have been told here is God is a patient person. Because our lives are precious before God. Our lives are precious before God. He is always patient for us. That is why they say God wants a sinner but not the sin in his hands. God still looks at it if he can change. We have seen people who have lived wayward lives before and they came back to be children of God. If God has judged him immediately or struck him to death, would he come back and be useful for you? We ourselves, he says, if God marks iniquity, who can stand? No one can stand in our midst. 
Because if the way we sin is the way God judges us immediately, there will probably be no one left on earth. This is why it looks like the judgment of God is afar off. The judgment of God is not far. He just takes his time to be patient. Because if the Lord judges, even those who are not involved will be implicated. This is why they say our fathers have eaten the grapes. What happened to the children? The children. This is how the judgment of God is. The father will take a portion, the children will have their portion, and even generations to come. This is why God is patient. I pray in Jesus' name we will not get God angry. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When we examine our text, it says they bow down to idols. They honor idols. Why are we honoring vain images? It is not until you put an idol and image in your house or you go into the Abalist house that you honor idols. Some people once they forget their wristwatch, they run back home. Some people, when they look at themselves and they have not rubbed their powder, they run back home. He pays him or her to get late to church, they are not adorned himself or herself. That is, you have started honoring these things more than God. I'm not saying it's not good to adorn yourself. But once it begins to look as if you cannot do without those things, you are already honoring it more than God. It is not until you come to church at all. But what has become the part? The greatest part of your mind. It's beginning to honor yourself than God. These things cause God's anger. I pray the Lord will not get angry in us. They also spoke about our fathers. How some people do not honor their wives enough. And we women as well, we have our parts to play. There are many ways we have not honored our husbands. Sometimes we do eye service. When our husbands are not there, what are the things we do behind? Some people will try to turn the back of their children against their fathers. Begin to tell the children, your father this and this, it does to me. When the father and mother father and mother married themselves were the children there. They were not there. Whatever happens between you and your wife is between you. You should not um, approach to, you should not tend to let the children like one than the other. Everyone must take his responsibility. And the judgment is left to God. I pray we will not get God angry. These are the things we have been told these unclean characters cause God's anger. Lies. Malice. Adultery. Drunkenness. Unfaithfulness. All these things. We are we take the appearance of a child of God, but we don't we don't look like him in character. Some people, because of them, they decide not to go to church again. What ways are we getting God angry? Where are we betraying people? All these unrighteous things causes God's anger. Says 
no one koninu ma mo nu everyone knows their eh eh wo go wa kwata kwata la mo bita akusi we all know where we are left at wo go wa kwata la mo bita akusi we know our weak areas mo wa dura ke olorun aro wa lowo lati sha to se i will help us to make amends oni sugbon olorun ti won sin lai mo yi ni eni ti o da aye ati orun won sin olorun lai mo they are worshiping god in uncleanliness olorun yi de ni o da orun ati aye and this god has made heaven and earth ohun lo da awon papa fun ara won and he has made them themselves ati gbogbo ohun tin be ninu re and everything in it ohun ni o fi ohun gbogbo fun gbogbo eniyan he gave all things to man iru eje kan na ni o fi da gbogbo agbaye he created them all in the same blood nitori pe won ko yin lo go bi olorun because they do not praise him as god ero okan won di asan their thoughts are made vain mo the bible says because they fail to have the knowledge of god in their hearts What? If you want to let me hear it, they will let to a reprobate mind. Let me ask you, until to do that which is on right. Mo badura ki olorun ni fi wa sile fun ye rira. I pray the Lord will not give us a reprobate mind. Asi mu oko o mu go won shokun kun. And the ignorant mind was made dark. Jowo, please. Ba eri bibeli ni pa olorun gbo. Receive the spirits. Eri bibeli, the testimony of the Bible. Ni pa olorun gbo. True God. Fun ire ire ni. It is for your own good. Fun ire wa ni ki se ti Olorun. It is for our good and not of God. Ta ba sin Olorun ko yi ni po pada. If we serve God, he changes not. Si a o ba de sin ko yi ni po pada. And if we choose not to serve him, he changes not. Nitori ti wa ni gbogbo nkan ta nso won yi. We are saying all this because of God. Ndi Olorun la ko bibeli fun ni. Is the Bible written for the sake of God? Oga o go ko la ko fun. Yeah, it was not written for the sake of God. It was written for men. Ko le so no. That he can instruct us. Nitori aye yi ati aye raye. For this earth and if the world to come I pray we will not be guilty Ma se wa ninu awon tin pa ogo Olorun da si ohun miran Do not be among those who change God's glory into other things O ti to pataki Central truth Fi yo ku aye re sin Olorun o ti to Use the remaining of your life to serve the true God Dipo ibinu instead of wrath You are your siri ojure re re You will enjoy his favor Ki lo la ma ri o What ojure re Olorun mo gba dura pe ojure re Olorun ko ni da gbe re fun wa God will not leave us Ojure re Olorun ko ni da gbe re fun wa The favor of God will not leave us Se eni ti o ba ko lati sin Olorun yin Whoever fails to serve God, his or her life will be in darkness. Think they're on the way. 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 Think And it he led us. Lord, accept our thanks. Holy Spirit, accept our praise. We pray your word we have heard today. And on the last day, let it not let us not be guilty of it. Though grace to do according to your word and make amendment, Lord, give unto us. And as we progress, Lord, do with us. This is our offering, Lord, and by it, every pocket it came out of Lord. Please, those who are in need, Lord, thank you because you have. Jesus, Oluwa. Jesus name, my Lord. Praise the Lord. Ah, ni bubo jo Sunday amambere isinwuro ni agu meji si agu mewa uro. On Sundays we start our service from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. Ah, I do not know why they carry me at it in this way. You alone. Please, you please let's make sure we come early. Back on on ni ojo Monday ni uro. Likewise on Mondays morning. I do a man why you phone on ni show what you on ni show. There is a there is a program for businessmen and artisans. That you go make you see you go make some uro. From seven a.m. to I just care if you so come back or no. Let us put it in mind. Ah, Nikki Titi about party program Mojo Monday. You got any new job? You man work with you on Babawa. Immediately after Monday's program, there is counseling to our Father in the Lord. Let's see. I go make some. See, I go make Jila. 
or son. From 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. And your arguments on see agumeji la or son. 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. And the cafe so con. Bible study man why you need a go ni bubo jo Monday agume fire or let's say agume jo. There is Bible study on Monday evenings as well from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Ah, bubo wala boyi man kwa defun adura kwa la on mama walurio ke ni bubo jo Tuesday. 